everyone welcome to my channel my name is abby popularly known as boo boo from boo boo's boulevard and welcome if this is your first time here thank you for stopping by make sure you watch to the end go through my channel and if you like the kind of contents that i make please make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post my videos today's vlog is about 10 coolest places where you can eat and enjoy yourself with your friends and family 10 coolest spots where you can have fun with your friends and family and also affordable and my yardstick for this spots that i have chosen is one the food two the ambience three the customer care how warm they are and four the view the good thing about this is that all of them are affordable with less than 50 EC per person you would have a good time with you and your family or your friends you have good food and good drinks I assure you let me state clearly that there are different kinds of spots from street food to fine restaurants you have everything in Grenada it's a tourist tourist country so I will be fixated on St. George's because that's where most tourists would come to that's the capital of Grenada so there are other food spots in other parts of Grenada in every parish in Grenada there's something for you to eat you have a lot trust me you have a lot but I'm, I'm focusing on St. George's the capital of Grenada so these are my personal choice like I have 10 that are personal to me some are sentimental my 10 might not be your 10 so I would like to know in the comment section what your top 10 would be for me this is my top 10 and it's in no particular order so it's just something it's just that I love these places so let's go the first on the list is Rachel's. If you've been watching my channel, you must have known that this is one of my favorite places because it has some nice breakfast stuff here, like some good drinks, cappuccino. If you're a coffee person, you are welcome. This is the stop for you. And uh, it has a very lovely ambience. That is one of the reasons I come here. It's so breezy. It's so Thank nice you. and the staff they're really warm and you have your cappuccino Thanks. you have your mocha <laughs> well, well, you have you have smoothies well, well. you have the kids really love it here so if you have friends you want to gather here I think it's it's a no-brainer make sure you check their Jamaican party because that is one of my favorite that I get Thank I'm you. more Sorry. of a savory person so all the sweets you're getting you're seeing here is actually for the kids or my hubby I am more of a savory person so I always go for the Jamaican party at night it's also lovely the ambience is beautiful and it's very affordable with less than $30 you could get a good snack and a good drink so yes Bye. Take care. Take care. Number two would be the University Club. This is owned by SGU, St. George's University, and it has a restaurant that is open to the public, but the poolside is open to just staff of SGU and not students of SGU, just staff of SGU and their guests. So here they have amazing food. I've tried this club sandwich. I'm not so adventurous when it comes to eating, so I just stick to chicken, the basic carbs and um, the basic protein and veggies, that's all I do. So um, this place is lovely, it has a fantastic view as you can see. Under $50, you can have a nice meal and a drink. With this view, I think it is absolutely worth it. They also have a well-presented kids menu. So this is the adult menu, but the kids also have their own, with their own portion, and it's really, really nice. Camila can agree to that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, number three is one of my favorite places. It's even sentimental because it was one of the first places I visited when I came to Grenada. Like on the second day, I think I came here at night. And when I came here in the daytime, the scenic view coming here is Le Fer Bleu. Le Fer Bleu is an amazing spot. I, I love how... I don't know the word to use cottagey I don't know I don't it's it's simple and cute <laughs> and it's it's just a nice place to be I love how the landscape flows it's just a, an amazing place It ushers in the marina. You see the marina down there? Just keep watching, you see the whole view. I'm laughing as I see this image because if you were with a Nigerian auntie, the average Nigerian auntie is superstitious. She would see this and say, you mermaid spirit, get out of here. I bind you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the meals are really lovely. Like I said, no matter how much variety you have on the menu, I'm that person who would ask, can you just give me something with chicken in it or fish? So they have a poolside, which is so cute. My kids love it here. My kids friends love it here. We always like it because it's kid friendly. It's not so deep. There's a spot that is deep, but it's not so deep. So the kids can actually swim, you know. The piña colada, it's so rich and creamy. I've never seen anything like that before. And for starters, like your appetizers, I'll always recommend the popcorn chicken. It's really, really nice. I'm not a fan of filming my food, especially when I have friends around. So bear with me. I'm not going to be showing you a lot, but I could film when it's just me or it's me and my spouse, but I would not film when other people are eating with me, okay? Now, over there, 
I've heard a lot of stories about that island. They call it the Calivini Island. You see the house just far off there where the boat is going to. They said, I don't know, but they clearly said Justin Bieber has stayed here. Um, Beyonce celebrated her birthday once there. I, I don't know. If you know in the comment section, please let me know because... This island is making a lot of rave. I heard it is so expensive to stay there. I don't know the amount, but they said it's friggin' expensive. Okay, shameless plug. I actually make Nigerian jollof rice and nigerian fried rice i do that for parties for events and everything so if you are interested and you don't want to go to all those places i've been calling here on this video and you're like okay i want some african food then i am the person to call just send me a dm on bubbles underscore boulevard on instagram and i will reply you immediately okay Sacred Harbor is the fourth on my list because look at that view. I love a good view and a good ambience and by the time you go in, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is a cool spot where you can hang out with your friends like we did the mom's hangout here. And remember, this was a place where my baby shower was held for me. So it's a lovely place to be. It is a lovely place. So it has a marina that you would see through the restaurant. And um, when you go, the boats, the dinghies are going to perch there. And those ones are supposed to be coming to the restaurant. So you just don't go put your dinghy there or that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Why does it sound like a funny thing in my head? But anyway, you know what I'm talking about? Only customers, just customers only. Oh God, it's still sounding weird. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, this is the marina. Look, look at the houses there the rooms over there they are those are actually rooms so they are looking at the marina so it's such an amazing view i've never stayed here before but eating here gives me a very good perspective of what this place is like and the staff they are really really warm and friendly
need I say more? Umbrellas, one of my favorite spots. It has a wonderful view of Grandan's Beach from the restaurant. They've got sumptuous meals and value for money, like you would eat very well with $50. You would have a very good time with $50 and your drink would be good too. So why not? This is a cool spot to hang out with your friends. I kid you not. Sometimes if you're lucky, you would see the cruise ship moving past you or a yacht or a sailboat it's just it's just an incredible sight i hope you come here honestly Another one is Coconut Beach. I apologize for the shaky footage. I didn't have a good camera gear at the time and it's an amazing beach. I love how this part of Grandan's Beach is quiet. So the kids really love it here. I don't have clips or pictures of the place, but trust me, the memories still linger on because Man, I love this their food. Mashed potatoes is just so, so, so and good. fish. That's mashed potatoes and ribs. Okay, Container Park is a place where I feel should have its own vlog, but I'm just going to put it here. This is a hub for SGU students especially. It's a bustling place. It's, it's, it can be busy and it can be quiet. But at this point, it was really, really busy. I wasn't expecting as much students here. But it's a, it's a very cool place to hang out. And um, my kids love it here. They used to have some kids swing and all that. But they took it out. I do not know why. Please, why? But anyway, when you come here, you hang out, you see like the SGU students, they're actually having a beer pong. I don't know what game they call it, but they throw the ball and a cup of beer and all that. It was really cool. And um, there's the lab over there. So drinks are flowing. It is a cool spot to hang out. It's free. You can roam about. Even pets are allowed. So why not? So they have pockets of food vendors and drink vendors. I won't be calling their names individually because there's a lot, but you're going to see for yourself as you watch the vlog of Container Park. So it spans from Chinese food to sushi spots to um, Cuban food, Latina food, um, you name it, Indian cuisine too. So just watch it and see for yourself.
another cool spot is Lavo Lane. As usual, you guys know too that I love this spot. So the bar side of it is called Dragon's Reef. I think so. Dragon's Reef or Dragon Reef. And um, they have very nice food. So while you're there eating and drinking, you can also be bowling. So it's a nice one. Another spot is Dodgy Dock from True Blue Bay Resort. And um, this place ticks the boxes for a lot of reasons. First, it's family friendly. Um, it's just that spot where everybody is just so cool. You could be busy eating while your kids are there on at the swing, doing their thing, playing with their friends. It's just a place to be. I love their meal so much. It was served hot, warm stuff, and um, they have series of events like i mentioned one time my former vlogs um they have the street uh, food wednesdays where jefferson ramirez sings live he's a talented amazing singer and um they also host some events like um bazaars halloween egg hunting There are some places in the resort where you can you can swim it's shallow for kids it's just an incredible place which has an amazing view so this is a place where you can do things comfortably and it's not expensive and that is why we love true blue bay <laughs> resorts especially dodgy dock Yeah. Mommy, I will tell you. The aquarium has one of the loveliest views in my opinion it's a shame that i don't have pictures and videos to prove that i wasn't vlogging at the time but they have this pond where you see turtles playing and all that it's such a warm v quiet place in my opinion i wouldn't say vibrant but quiet and i love it for that and that's it and like i said Grenada has a lot of things to offer when it comes to food especially so from knife and fork uh, at the mall that Spiceland mall you'd see yum yum all these places you might not go and host a party or a get together but these places would give you what you're looking for you have the native fruity here smoothie there sorry grill to go the Chinese spots you know chopsticks so you have a lot to eat there's also sugar and spice that's also at container park too and they will give you the ice cream you want and that's it i hope you loved this video please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post my videos from me to you it's xoxo bye, bye.